Christmas is by far the most popular holiday of the year and with it comes the joy of decorating. I just so happened to finish building a $12,000 gaming setup that can use a little bit of Christmas spirit. My journey started over at Hobby Lobby and it was literally the only place I needed to go. There was Christmas stuff everywhere you could look and it was also 50% off for Black Friday so you know we had to go all out. And as you can see I picked up a bunch of different Christmas decorations and I even got some soft pillows. I was also looking for a Christmas tree but I couldn't find one anywhere and I was honestly running out of hope. So I went on Amazon to find the perfect fit for my room and I also picked up a few candles and Christmas lights to top off my list. Yeah, well I was going to put this on but it is so small I can't even fit it over my head. I might just like... I might just leave it like this to be honest guys. All right, this is literally the best I can do. I literally can't fit it on my big head. So we got a lot of stuff. So yeah, in total, I bought stuff from two stores, Amazon and Hobby Lobby. In total, I spent $228. And you might be wondering why I spent almost $230 to decorate my entire room for Christmas. And honestly, I don't even know. But we're here now and we're gonna unbox all the stuff that we got. So honestly, Hobby Lobby saved my life because they literally had everything 50% off. So it literally would have been like 300 and something dollars if it wasn't 50% off. So shout out to Hobby Lobby. But we got this little gnome thing. It has like dangling legs. So I think it'll be cool like on a shelf or something. I don't really know why it's brown, but hopefully it's not a yellow snow snowman. If you know what I'm talking about. And then lastly, in this bag, we got just this Merry Christmas thing right here. So. Yeah, we got a lot of small stuff, but there is some big stuff later on, so I'm ready to show you guys that in a minute. But, but yeah, we got another bag right here from Hobby Lobby. And there's only one thing in this bag, it's just a giant candy cane right here. So this will look really cool somewhere in my room. I'm gonna put it right here for now while I'm unboxing everything else. We also got this really big pillow right here that says Merry Christmas on it. So it actually looks really cool and really good. But it's this like Christmas tree thing that lights up. Uh, does it have, okay. It doesn't have any batteries in it right now, but I have some I'll put into it later. And it is a classic snow globe. Like who doesn't like snow globes on Christmas? I literally live in North Carolina, so it literally never snows, but hey, it's the theme of Christmas. So you know we had to do it. I literally just got glitter all over my fingers from touching the snow globe. That's gonna be very annoying. Also right behind me from Amazon, I got a bunch of lights. Like I got a bunch of these warm string lights that I'm gonna hang places around in my room right here. Uh, they're just like battery powered ones you guys can see and then we also got these icicle lights right here These things are gonna be hanging all over my wall and my ceiling and if it turns out how I think it's gonna turn out I think it's gonna look really good So I'm excited to put these up and show you guys and for Christmas one thing that really sets the mood is the smell So I actually got these candles from Amazon if I can pull them out. This is the box that came in the very Christmassy box, but, but Yeah, there's four candles right here. We got a balsam cedar right here but yeah and then for my favorite there's an apple cider right here so hopefully all these smell really good when you walk into a room that just has that like christmas like cinnamon or apple cider or just like other scents it really sets the whole mood as well so that's really what i was going for and then we have a and then we have a cinnamon love one and a christmas cookies one right here if you guys can see but yeah we got some candles i also got this Pixu 64 max right here last video i actually got the 32 which i still have over there on the side of my room i'll actually move it for you guys to see so yeah it's a little dark but you guys can see right there i have it with baby yoda and like a little fire which it actually does look really good but this one is bigger and i can actually add like live youtube stats and stuff on it so i got this one instead and then more for the scents i got this big diffuser right here so i got a lot of other like doTERRA scents and Stuff, so it'll make my room smell really good but anyways it wouldn't be Christmas without a Christmas tree so we got this four and a half foot Christmas tree right here this is gonna be like in the corner of my room by my dresser but you guys will see it later in a little bit but I have this right here and this is actually red and white which is pretty funny but this is by far the best thing in the entire video and I'm gonna talk to you guys about it but yeah let's just turn the camera around because you guys can maybe see it over there in the corner all right it's honestly really hard to talk to you guys about it in that angle just because of the tripod and stuff but yeah this is the Ozbot tiny 2 it's a 4k webcam but I'm gonna talk to you guys about it real quick in the other camera angle because it's honestly so crazy so like I was just saying I just have to go more in depth because this webcam is actually crazy so yeah if you're in the market for a high quality webcam let me show you guys the Obspot tiny 2 I'm actually using it to record this entire thing right now and as you guys can see the quality is absolutely insane the tiny 2 has an ultra large one and one half inch CMOS sensor which basically just means that it delivers 4k quality 
that is super sharp and has vibrant colors. And this right here is what the Logitech C920 looks like compared to this webcam, and it's not even a close comparison at all. Like, I can't even believe that a webcam can look as good as this one does right now. This webcam alone is a huge upgrade compared to all other webcams that use smaller sensors. It also has AI-powered auto tracking, which uses a two-axis gimbal and advanced algorithms to make sure that you are perfectly centered in the frame. Plus, it can adjust the zoom automatically, so whether you're walking around the room, moving closer or farther away from the webcam, it can automatically zoom in on you and track you as well. But I'm not done because this webcam actually has voice commands. You can literally tell this webcam what to do without touching anything. Zoom in closer. It's crazy. And if that wasn't enough, it also has Gesture Control 2.0, which allows you to control anything you want with hand gestures. You can use these gestures to make it zoom in or out and also follow you around the room. Another standout feature is it's four times faster focusing. Thanks to all pixel autofocus technology, it locks onto you instantly, even in low light. This thing is literally like a DSLR camera put into a small webcam. And with Privacy Protection 2.0, you can activate sleep mode or set it to stream a preset picture when it's not in use. They also have many other features, such as a beauty mode to smooth out your skin and brighten your eyes, a desk mode to easily showcase anything on your desk, a whiteboard mode for capturing presentations, and it even allows you to blur the background like I just did right now to make it look even more professional. Plus, it's compatible with multi-camera setups thanks to the upgraded remote controller. So if you want a high-quality camera condensed into a small webcam, the Obspot Tiny 2 is definitely a great option. And they're going to be running a 30% off sale this Christmas, and I also have a 5% off code on screen right now it is just flux fee so basically you can get 35 percent off this webcam this christmas and it's a great choice for a webcam so make sure to check out the obsbot tiny 2 with the first links in the description or the pinned comment but now that we finished unboxing everything for the room it's time to actually decorate it with all the christmas stuff so i think i'm going to start with all the christmas lights first and i guess i'll see you guys there but before i put all the lights up there's one thing i got to do so all right that looks a little bit better but now it's time to install these icicle lights. All right, guys, well, I will say, I don't even know if these lights that I got for like the ceiling up there are even long enough, but like I like to say, I guess there's only one way to find out. So. Man, I'm telling you guys, if I wasn't six foot eight, this would be so much harder than it actually is. I just broke them. So I gotta take all of them down now. Oh my gosh. Like if you guys can see this right now, like it literally just, it literally just broke off while I was like pulling it, which was kind of my fault, but I mean, they're super fragile. But I have two packs of them, so I can still install the other one right there, but I'm not gonna have one for the other wall until like two days from now. So I'm gonna be installing them towards the end of the video to complete the look, but yeah, unfortunately they broke, but now we're gonna have to try to not break these ones and then put them right there, so. All right, I wanna see what they look like really quick. Oh my God. Yeah, this is gonna look crazy. All right, let's keep going. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this literally is the exact length of my wall. Like it's, it's literally like perfect, which is actually crazy. So we got pretty lucky on that. All right, so now that we got them all installed, hopefully they actually work and I didn't break these like I did the other ones. And they do, let's go. That looks really good. And I think, let me turn off all the lights just so you guys can see them a little bit better. There we go. That looks amazing. That looks so good. This this is definitely bringing the whole room together, these lights right here for the Christmas theme. Man, I really wish I didn't break the other ones so I could install them on this wall right here right now, but I'm literally gonna have to wait two days to get the ladder out and go do it all over again while I already was in the process of doing it here, but it's all right, it's whatever. We do have these other smaller ones right here to go on certain things. Like, I think I'm gonna try to put it on that lamp over there around the whole base of it and stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna try to put it on, I'm thinking, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to put one of them on this like lamp right here. So yeah, I'm not sure where all the other ones are gonna go. Hopefully I can find a good place to make them look pretty good. But yeah, this right here looks great. We gotta keep this going. And yeah, we're just gonna take it as it comes and try to find some good place to put them, so.
All right, we just put them on. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, you guys can be the judge, but it looks better than not having them up there at least. So now I gotta try to find somewhere else to put them and I have no clue. All right, so yeah, you guys can see it here. I don't think it looks bad. It definitely looks like a little bit better in person, but yeah, it'll probably look better once we can get those other lights coming in from the top. But yeah, now it's time to move on to the setup. I'm actually gonna try to add them all throughout the grass behind the setup, so hopefully that'll look good. All right, well, I definitely think it looks pretty good, but now I gotta add like all the other ones. We have five more, so we should definitely have enough to fill up the whole back thing, but I think it honestly looks pretty good once we get all of them set up. All right, so as you guys can see, we are basically done with the first side right there. I think it looks really good. So now we just gotta do that over there. Well, I had two left right here. Um, if that's not enough, I'm gonna have to take the one from the shelf and put it on over here. But either way, I think we should have just enough, which is great. But I really could have done this more efficiently because each of these things are like five feet and I could have just got like a 30 foot one and just had it be one thing on the whole wall. But I'm gonna have to turn on like six things just for this thing to light up, but it's whatever, I guess. literally so close to needing like just a little bit more. I'm not sure if I am gonna move the one from the shelf because I think this is fine to be honest. Just as you can see like a little gap there and behind the monitor where there isn't any lights. I don't think it's too big of a deal. So yeah, I think it's time to set up the Christmas tree now. So I'm ready for that. And also we can set up all the other decorations that we got for the room, like the snow globe and the gnome. So yeah, I guess let's just get right to it. looks depressed it's it's all it's so hollowed out i think i just gotta fluff it out or something this looks this looks this is a sad christmas tree right here christmas day. all right guys i think i don't know i think it looks pretty good for now i definitely got to finish uh fluffing it out a little bit more but yeah, I think it looks think it looks pretty good. So, but now that I am done with the Christmas tree, I think it is time to decorate everything in the room, like with all the Christmas decorations that we got that aren't lights. So, uh, yeah, I think it's time to do that. I'm gonna start with the shelf. I also want to unbox the uh, Pixu thing I got right here, this thing right here. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and go to the shelf and just decorate some things. All right, we're gonna take this old one out of the way right here. This is what it looks like. I just have like some Minecraft stuff shuffling through it, Minecraft paintings, but yeah, we're gonna take this one. I don't know where I'll put it, to be honest. I know you guys can't even see me right now. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, but but now I gotta get the new one right here. This is the same thing, literally the same thing, but it's just bigger. So I already went on the app and like synced it with my like YouTube stats. So hopefully it just works. All right, while I'm waiting for this to pair with my phone, I'm actually going to light a candle and that would be great if I knew where my lighter went, but I don't. This is the uh, balsam cedar. It actually smells better than I thought it did. The ones that I thought were gonna smell good didn't smell good, which is very annoying, but you can light this one. There we go. The Christmas vibes are coming in. They're coming. Hopefully this thing actually puts off some scent. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna put it there for now. And we can get back to what we were working on. And looks like it already just got set up because I did say I set it up earlier, but might be, it might be like a little too bright, but yeah, you can see it has all my uh, YouTube stats and stuff, my view count. And then if it switches over to uh, the subscribers, I have 16,700. Well, I have 16,711 right now, actually. So I guess it may be just rounded to the nearest 10th or something, but hey, hopefully we can get 17,000 subscribers by the time. Actually, we probably will maybe by the time this video is up uploaded because it'll be uploaded in like a week and a half or two weeks. But I don't know. If we're not at 17,000 already, make sure you guys subscribe, I'm trying to get there. But yeah, now we can actually add all the other Christmas decorations over here, such as this little Christmas tree. I think I'll add this over here and we'll add this right there. Nice. I'm also gonna add this little yellow snowman right here. 
I don't even know where to put it to be honest, but I might actually just leave it right here. I think that looks pretty good. I also got these literally, they're literally ornaments, but you can't tell if they're just sat up somewhere. So I'm gonna have this thing right here beside the YouTube stats. I also got one of these Christmas tree things. I think I might honestly, I think I might honestly put it right back here. I'm just gonna take one other snowman and I'm gonna put it right over here. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good for now, but I also have this like, jingle all the way thing which i'm gonna put literally right here on my dresser this isn't gonna stay here so i'll just go ahead and move it out the way for now but yeah i'll put this jingle all the way thing right here but yeah i'm gonna go up to the shelf and decorate it because this is like my favorite part all right um, i'm not sure if i should leave these the stuff on here i might just scoot them in the pack to be honest we'll see how it looks afterwards and i'll just adjust it but all right so i got this little gnome thingy right here i'm not sure if i should put it in the middle or something might put it right here on the side, just like that. I also got this snow globe right here, like I showed you guys earlier. It's a pretty nice snow globe. It looks really cool in the room. It'll bring out some more red and green over here. I'm actually gonna put this Merry Christmas thing in the middle. I think it looks better. Then the snow globe can go right here on the shelf. And honestly, I do still have this thingy as well. Uh, it's another one of the Christmas trees. I might put it up here, but I don't know if that's too much. Cause I kind of like the way it looks right here. So if we just pan down just like this, but we can add this Merry Christmas pillow here and then also add candy cane to the bed just to bring out some of the, the red Christmassy vibes. We also have the cat chilling. He loves the Christmas vibes as well. Guys, I will say that I literally completely forgot to unbox the diffuser that I got. It's just, it's a doTERRA diffuser right here. Uh, they were super high quality. And I also have like these other doTERRA oils right here. This is a peppermint. So yeah, I'm gonna add that really quick to the shelf. Oh guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea where this thing plugs in. Am I blind? I think I got it all set up now. I'm just gonna fill it up with a little bit of water. There's barely anything left in this, but it'll work. I'm also gonna add some of the peppermint that I was talking about. Add that in real quick. Okay, now we just power it on. All right, nice. Can we change the, I wonder if we can change the LED color. Oh, we can. Let's go. Look at all the mist it's putting out. It's definitely working pretty well. And I can also like change, you can change like the amount that you want it to come out. You guys can't even see it just because the lighting, but it's definitely pretty cool. And then while we're here on the setup, I think what I'm gonna do is actually just add this jingle all the way thing right here. And then I'll add this other little tree right here by the monitor, just to, just to add a little bit more Christmas decorations to the setup. The lighting is a bit weird, but like the setup definitely looks pretty good. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have some better lighting in a bit. I'm waiting for these uh, lights, as you can see, right here on that wall that we installed earlier to come in so I can put them on this right here. But yeah, that, that's in like two days. So, and honestly, there's not really much else that I can do in the room besides add those and we don't have them. So I guess I'll just see you guys in two days. So two days later. All right. So we are back. And yeah, one thing you guys probably noticed right away is yeah, I don't have the Santa hat on anymore. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't get mad at me. But honestly, I have to go somewhere in two hours and I just don't want my hair messed up. And then, yeah, y'all see this camera quality? Fire. I just returned my old camera and then I got this new one right here. Absolutely fire. It did cost a bit more, but hey, I think it's worth it, don't you guys? It's pretty fine. But nonetheless, you guys saw the package right here. This is the lights. The other package though, I got something else that actually wasn't supposed to come today, but it did right here. Yeah, you guys might be able to tell what it is. If not, you guys will see later on in the video. Hopefully this is the lights. Cause I mean, I did order some other stuff and if this isn't the lights, this is gonna be embarrassing. Okay, I think these are the lights to be honest. I got two of them just in case I broke them again. But let's go ahead and get these things set up so we can finally complete the room. Okay, he doesn't like the camera. Let's go, finally. All right, now for the moment of truth. And I literally just realized I never tested to see if they work. So if they don't work, I'm gonna take them all down, but let's go. Okay, dude, they twinkle too, look at that. I don't know if I like that though. All right, there we go. We're just gonna stick with the solid color because it looks really good. But now, guys, when I tell you this room looks crazy, this room looks crazy right now. Oh, all right, well guys, that was gonna be the last thing that we added in this room, but we had another package that came in right here. Yeah, you guys can kind of see what it is. Get a little hint right here. Honestly, it's gonna fill the space perfectly and I'm just ready for you guys to see it. It's, 
it's just gonna look so good. All right, dude, I, I just can't get over this camera angle. It looks so good. But anyway, let's get this thing unboxed. All right, pulling it out right here. Hopefully it's the right size. It was literally supposed to be here three days from now, but it came today, the day I'm recording this. So, oh yeah, perfect. It literally fits this whole room like, Am I Spider-Man? Anyways, while we're on the skateboard though, I am gonna try to get something that hanging on the wall right here. I think it'll look better than just sitting here and always falling over, but that won't be this video. But like I was saying, this literally fits the room perfectly. This is a wide angle lens plus a six, eight person holding it in the air. So yeah, this looks so clean. Honestly, it just, just ties the whole room together. Honestly guys, just look at this. It is so cozy in here. It looks so good. But um, yeah, we also have this right here. I did talk about it earlier in the video. Let me just wake it up real quick. This thing, like I said, it is the Obspot Tiny 2. Like the quality of this webcam, everything about it is just absolutely insane. Like it's super good in low light. So it just looks good no matter what condition you're in. And yeah, like I said, it's literally a 4K webcam. Like it looks so good. You guys saw it in the integration earlier. But yeah, make sure to check it out. Make sure to uh, check it out in the description with all the links like I said earlier uh, yeah it's just a very good webcam but nonetheless like I said this room does look really good but the one thing that kind of messes it up is all the white lights right now that I have on for recording but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do what we always do and you guys know what that is so let's just do it <laughs> 